Fire Side Meister fans. We're going to watch an old cable classic here. This one's called The Fifth Floor. Brand new Blu-ray. Let's check it out. Meet Kelly McIntyre, played by Diane Hall on the left. Sometimes I just feel like giving up. You just broke Don't up with her boyfriend. Ryan, come around, you'll see. Anyway, she works at this disco bar and she's out dancing and something's happening to her. <gasps> she was poisoned. I'm just joining her from the ICU today. She apparently tried to commit suicide when she was 15. Somebody tried to poison me. Or the police think she tried it again. Ron! I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'm her fiance. So she's taken to the fifth floor. Goodbye. The psychiatric ward. No better than this. I will not have you bothering this patient. You all know you're not supposed to be in here. All yes, that's so Freddy Krueger. He's actually a patient himself. He's pretending to be a doctor. I mean, we all say crazy things when we're upset, don't we? The doctor, Mel Ferrer. Look, doctor, if I tried to do it, I'd admit it. This is group therapy. That man is here only because his father is a physician. Now get rid of him. He killed the man. He should be locked up in the Scoville hospital. Patty Darbinville, she plays Melanie. Another inmate on the fifth floor. That's Bo Hopkins. He's a pervy worker here. He insists on watching uh, Kelly shower, saying it's regulations. Oh, watch out for water. Go in the stall. Yeah, so far. Inappropriate behavior shower. here. <laughs> All part of the job. Don't do that for us. Oh, don't. When he leans in to kiss her, she tries to... Uh, Get out of there, which she does. How much did we get this charge today? Alright? We'll hold her another two weeks, so we can start it all out. Well, that's it. Back to the locust land. Oh, when she wakes up, make sure she takes her pill, okay? Come, Mr. C. Try to apologize. No, he's trying, or I'm sorry. You want to quit until you get what you want. Kelly's going to give in to him. Apparently. So she told Carl to come meet her in the dark. Why are you? But it turns out it's just a joke. Outing to the zoo. You know, uh, I've got a funny feeling that I might be playing a little joke on you. <laughs> huh? Kelly basically says, screw that, and she decides to take off. It's a nice 70s disco. You're wrong. Her boyfriend wants her to go back, though. I'm not suicidal. Apparently they're putting on a dance. People who have seen this film seem to remember this scene. Carl pays her an inappropriate visit when she's having a little hydrotherapy. Next thing you know, it appears he's trying to drown her. Drags her out, lays her on the ground, and we know what he did next. Some of the other people caused a diversion, which uh, allowed the three of them to escape again. So they stole an ambulance and escaped. Where did you get from? 
Oh, and guess what? Did they tell you I... They found out who poisoned you. It was Hal. What? It wasn't meant for you. He was after Francine. Apparently that doesn't stop the police from gathering her up though and bringing her back to the institute. Don't let him take me back, please. Okay. Alright, now let's just sit it up. Get the light. They gave her some sort of electroshock therapy when she got back. Remember they said he killed a guy. That's a pair of scissors. He's a mess and uh, appears to be the end of him. As Carl is in his death throes, we learn that Kelly spent about 90 days on the fifth floor. All right, let's talk about The Fifth Floor. This is a movie that I had on a beta tape back in the uh, early 80s. This is probably one of the, probably within the, like the top 20 or 30 movies that I ever taped. Um, my list is now over 4,000, so it's an early one for me. In fact, it was on the very first scotch tape I ever owned. It was with uh, Mortuary and Pranks. Um, not available on DVD or Blu-ray until a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Code Red finally put this thing out, uh, which I'm very happy to. If you... Those of you who watched my old channel, you may remember I did review this movie um, on a DVD-R that I copied from the VHS tape that I had. However, that VHS tape had some glitches in it, and um, I was going to have to repurchase it because I was disappointed with it. it. had homemade box art and everything. That was kind of cool, but the tape itself, not the best. But now we got a Blu-ray, and this should last the rest of my life, right? So anyway, the movie itself, it's about uh, it's allegedly a true story about this woman named Kelly McIntyre. She's played by Diane Hull, and um, her somebody poisons her drink, um, and... She recovers, but they think she tried to commit suicide, so they lock her up in the on the fifth floor, the mental ward, and um, things do not go well for her there. There's Bo uh, Hopkins, who is the orderly Carl, and uh, he's a pervert. He uh, spies on her, and when she's uh, taking a shower, basically tries to soap her down, and um, he's just an overall perv. He tries to drown her at one point. I think he actually did rape her. Uh, you may have seen that scene there. I don't know. It didn't actually, the kind of scene cut away before it happened there, but I wouldn't be surprised that that's exactly what happened. And eventually Carl gets his at the end uh, when one of the other inmates stabs him and kills him. And then we find out at the end of the prologue that uh, she spent almost 90 days on the fifth floor. So there you go. Um, again, this is a movie that I saw on cable back in the early 80s. I saw it multiple times. Always liked it. It's not a horror movie by any means. It's more of a drama, I guess. And um, Robert England is also in this. Uh, he, he turned into Freddy Krueger a couple of years later. Uh, Patty Darbinville, who uh, was married to Don Johnson. And uh, Sharon Farrell. In fact, a lot of the comments that I read about this movie, everybody seems to remember that scene where Patty Darbinville hung herself uh, was she using her own hair? I wasn't even exactly sure, but it is kind of a creepy scene when uh, Kelly walks in and sees her hanging there. That is, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, I like this movie. Uh, thank you, Code Red, for finally uh, unearthing this thing and putting it out there. A little disappointed that it wasn't exactly cleaned up at all. The picture quality is not great, but it's great enough for me. Um, I like it, and it's uh, uh, letterbox and everything, widescreen, so... Yeah, it just wasn't like cleaned up, but it's fine. It's fine. I have no no issues with that. It, it it looks fantastic, and it was a lot better than the VHS tape I had. So, anyway, check this out. It just came out a couple of weeks ago. In fact, it arrived at my home uh, about a month before it was supposed to come out. So, but check it out. It's called The Fifth Floor. I like it. You like it too. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. Watch it. Bye. Lots of nudity too.